Hello and welcome to my review of The Double Tree by Hilton in Bratislava. We booked this hotel for one night and because everything else was booked, we chose a twin room. When we checked in, the receptionist apologized she couldn't offer us a suite since they were fully booked. We paid 107 euros and 68 cents. And since this is a double tree, there was no executive lounge. We drove to Bratislava from Vienna. Fun fact, these two cities are the closest country capitals in Europe. And there used to be a streetcar connecting them. Nowadays, taking a boat, the Twin City Liner, is a very popular way of traveling between the two cities and I highly recommend trying it out. The Doubletree is a 10 minute car ride away from the dock on the Danube, but it's located right next to the football and hockey stadium, making it a great location for sporting events or concerts. We pulled up to the hotel and we were lucky enough to find a parking spot right in front of it. These spots cost the same 25 euros per night as the garage spaces that are located beneath the hotel. The receptionist who checked us in was super friendly and offered to have our twin beds pushed together. Before we left for our room, we were handed the signature warm chocolate chip cookies. Up to the 7th floor we went and into room 720. Let's check it out! Starting with the fresh looking bathroom that had a lot of counter space next to the single sink. Large Crabtree and Evelyn dispensers were offered in the bathtub. Back through the hallway, let's head to the bedroom. Equipped with a desk, a sofa and the two beds, this room was quite spacious for a simple twin room. This room could use a refresh. The furniture, especially the couch, were quite tired and the TV is quite small for this day and age. The hallway housed a closet with robes, slippers, iron, ironing board and a safe. Opposite from it was the tea and mini bar, which was fully stocked. Of course, there was the complimentary water as well. In the evening, we noticed that there was no hot water in the room. We were moved to a king room on the 8th floor, so this was what that looked like. We tried out the bar Toscana, which had many straight spirits on offer, but hardly any cocktails and only two types of beer. This is also where you can grab some dinner. There is also a spa with an indoor pool open until 10 p.m. and the gym open 24-7. Breakfast is served in the Opus restaurant and is the highlight of this hotel in my opinion. The full buffet is complimentary for gold and diamond status holders. The selection was quite extensive, constantly restocked and exceeded my expectations. Next to smoked salmon and a salad bar, there were omelets made to order and additional warm food items. Cereal, fruit and sweets were accompanied by Prosecco. There was an additional breakfast menu with Eggs Benedict, Croque Monsieur and Barista made espresso drinks. All in all, our stay was very pleasant. If you're in town for a sporting event or concert, then the location is ideal. If you're arriving by boat, you might prefer something closer to the Danube. The rooms are dated, the staff is friendly and breakfast exceeded my expectations. We'll be back for sure. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Next to Bratislava, Prague is another popular destination close to Vienna. Find out what the Hilton Prague Old Town has to offer by clicking on this video. Thanks for watching, happy travels and see you soon.